There are so many reasons why starting your own business from home is the ultimate path to freedom, but you have to consider some things to avoid starting something that consumes you and takes away your freedom. Stay tuned for my step-by-step -step guide to starting your own business from home and the traps to watch out for. You want your own business. You want the flexibility of being able to work from home or anywhere, but you have no idea where to start or if it's crazy to even consider it. It really doesn't need to be that scary. You just need to know the action steps to take. So let's go through them. First of all, you need to know what your business will offer. What problem will it solve for people? Truly successful businesses solve a very real problem in their ideal customers' lives. Does the product or service you want to offer solve a problem that you know a large number of people are struggling with? Once you're sure your idea is a winner, the next step is to equip yourself with the know-how. Do you have the knowledge, the skills or the tools to provide this solution or are there some things you need to learn? Get equipped. You can access learning of every kind these days without even leaving your home. So find someone who knows what you need to know and get them to teach you. YouTube provides us with free tutorials on almost anything and there are books and free self-study courses out there, but you're going to learn faster and get to a higher standard if you invest in yourself for this part. Learn from the best with a proven track record if you're serious about having your own business. Now you know how to actually provide your solution to your customers, it's time to get some customers. That's right, get some customers before you create anything because you don't want to spend lots of time and money creating something that nobody actually wants to buy. It's called pre-selling and it's the smart way to get started. Put the word out, survey your idle audience, then take orders for your product or service and then go away and build or create it. The fourth step is to deliver and over deliver. Give your customers the best experience of doing business with you and ask for their feedback and testimonials. You're at the early stages of business and there are bound to be areas for improvement. Your first customers are going to give you the valuable feedback you need to refine your business. And lastly, share your views. Build your social proof and reputation so that you attract more customers while you're going through this initial validation period of your new business. These five steps are here to simplify the route map for you to get started, get up and running and get out of the gate. But that is just the beginning. It is so important to develop systems and processes within your business to ensure you manage your time effectively so that you don't end up trying to do all of the things all of the time. And then the very thing you were so excited and passionate about becomes the bane of your life. There is always someone several chapters ahead of you on the same journey and plenty of opportunity to work with the right coaches and mentors to keep you on track and loving what you do. So do you have a burning business idea that you've been toying with? Let us know in the comments below or if it's top secret, just tell us what's stopping you from moving forward with it. Why are you not doing something with it yet? We'd love to hear from you. Or maybe you don't actually have a business idea. You just know that you were made for more and you know you want your own business that you can do from home or anywhere for that matter. If that's you and you're clearly interested in childhood sleep, then check out that link below to my free two-part training on becoming a sleep consultant. Because after all, it's an amazing business from home with huge potential. So try the free training and see if it might be for you. Until next time, see you then. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.